Dan, what is it like at American Top Team having some of the women talent that you have there, such as Amanda Nunez and Joanna, and just, I mean, pound for pound, what they're, those two have been able to do? I got to tell you, you know, I, I was not the biggest fan of female mixed martial arts dating back 10 years ago or so when I was promoting shows, and, and, and we were putting a couple of those fights on there. Um, I, I likened the women's mixed martial arts to the men's back in the early 90s when, when you know, it was a relatively new sport and people didn't really know what they were doing, and it was it was more of a brawl than it was a technical match. Um you know, in, in the years since the UFC brought the women in, there has been a, a, a huge increase in, in, in the quality of the fights, and we, we made a decision a few years ago to build up our women's division because it's it's something that was growing in popularity, and it's what fans wanted to see, and promoters were, you know, had a strong demand for women fighters, and we now probably have about 15 to 20 women training full-time at our gym or professional fighters, and, and it's gone through the roof, and it's great for us. Um, you, t- you, t- you mentioned those two names right there. They're two of the two of the eleven champions in the UFC are, are female fighters at our gym, and and, and those two are, are great examples for our guys alike. I mean, they go in there and they set a standard. Those two go in and they train hard and they prepare hard and they're disciplined and they're focused, and um, and, and it's great to see it. Thank you. Muted. Hi, Bobby. This is Graham Matthews from HitRemote.com again. Um, of course, Kurt Angle's now back in the WWE as the Raw GM. But on record, you did have his last televised match to date, uh, late last year and early last year, rather, in GFW. I just want to get what it meant to you to wrestle Kurt Angle's final televised match in GFW. Uh, Dan, it, that match was, you know, I've done a lot of things in wrestling, from big pay-per-views all the way across the world, from WrestleMania to everything else. That one, I, I put that one all the way on the top. I mean, not on the top of everything, but it's like my top two, top three. And, and the reason being is I've always looked up to Kurt. I, I was watching Kurt when I was in high school, when I was in high school wrestling, and Kurt was winning nationals in college. And then when I went to college and I was winning national championships in college, Kurt was winning the Olympic championships and world championships. And then, and then I just kind of followed him all the way up. And then afterwards, when I was at the Olympic Training Center, Kurt actually came to the Olympic Training Center to do a vignette. And Kurt's the one that found me. Um, he said, man, you should be a police. He said, you ever think about professional wrestling? We talked a little bit past my number on, and, and the rest is history. I mean, he was the one that got me into professional wrestling. And for the time that we were in, for 12 years I was in, in professional wrestling, me and Kurt never even crossed paths. When I went to WWE, he, he went to TNA. When I went to TNA, he, he stepped out and was, was fighting. And then he came back, and I was out, and I went fighting, and then I finally came back. So the whole time this person that got me in there mentored me along the way. We would always talk on the phone, and he would talk to me about different matches and what to do and just kind of help me out with the just politics of wrestling and just kind of mentored me all the way. And then actually having an opportunity to wrestle him towards the end, that was the one thing that I was jockeying and pulling for so hard, especially with TNA last year, is I was telling him, man, if Kurt's getting ready to retire, you guys got to get something. you got to get me in the ring with him. And it was it was incredible. We had two big matches in each time. It just it was just incredible. It was like you're you're in the ring with your teacher. That's kind of how it was for me. I like Kurt's style. I mimic Kurt's style to a certain extent. So to me, it was amazing. Hi, Jeremy Walker from Real Sports again. Uh, Lashley. Could you um, tell us what your favorite match has been in Impact Wrestling? Oh, man, I, I can't do it. And this is what, I didn't even know how it was going to be when I went over there, but I can tell you this. There's been so many guys that I can say just had amazing matches, but one person I, w- I want to just kind of put it, I, I don't even want to say one person, because there's so many. Uh, Bobby Roode, my series with Bobby Roode, incredible. I think, I think Bobby Roode is arguably one of the best wrestlers in the wrestling business today. I mean, he, he the total package. I'm, I'm going to say really great things about him because I enjoyed wrestling. It was like it was a day off, but it was a very intense deal. Another one, Drew Galloway. And when I had matches with Drew, Drew gave me what I what I needed from professional wrestling. When I go out there and I get in, in, into a match with somebody in professional wrestling, I look in their eyes and I try to punk them. That's what I do. I try to punk them. I try to steal their soul. And Drew had that look back where it was like, this guy might be crazy enough to actually really throw down with me. 
And that's what it looked like in our matches. Our matches were like train wrecks, man. We were out there killing each other. He's a big guy. He has a great look. I think he's a superstar. But then I'm not going to take anything away from all the other guys that I was in the ring with. EY, I think EY is amazing. Uh, Moose, amazing. Um, Eli Drake. Um, there, there's just there's so many people that I can't, I can't just pick one. I, I would say the names that I said, of course, at the beginning, Bobby Roode, I just think he's on his way. And, man, there's Austin Aries, Jeff Hardy. I mean, that was the first time I had an opportunity to wrestle Jeff. Never did before. And that was just crazy because that's a whole different style of match. You're talking about a guy that's trying to kill himself to beat you. So that's just, that's just a, a completely different match. There's a lot of great guys in there and a lot of great wrestling in, in, in Impact DNA that I didn't realize before getting there. And it's a different style of wrestling. And, and he was another name, Eddie Edwards. The, Eddie Edwards being a smaller guy bridged that gap on the side and made that match believable. Like people really believed that he was going to beat him. He actually, uh, I gave him the title once, but then I took it back from him. But people actually believed it. So I think he's an amazing performer also. There's just so 